Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Manish and I welcome you to new video of Technical Chaji. In today's video, we are going to compare the latest phone which is launched from Redmi, which is the Redmi Note 7 and the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And in the end, I'm going to tell you that which phone is better and which option you should go, whether you want to buy the Redmi Note 7 or you're going to buy the Redmi Note 7 Pro. So watch this video till the end so you have a permanent answer that which phone you should buy. So without wasting time, let's get straight into the video. So let's first start with the specification of both the phones. On the one side, we have a Redmi Note 7 and on the other side, we have a Redmi Note 7 Pro. If I talk about their specification and their screen size, both have a screen size of 6.3 inches. Both have a spec ratio of 90.5 is to 9. Both have a bezel-less display with water drop notch. Both have a screen protection of Corona Gorilla Glass 5. And both are touch screen and both a screen to body ratio is 81.21 percentage. If I talk about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7, it is supported by your Snapdragon 660. And if I talk about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro, it is supported by your 675 Snapdragon processor. If I talk about the storage, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 has a storage of 32 GB, whereas in Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are seeing the storage of 64 GB. But don't worry, in both the phones, you have expendable storage up to 256 GB. And if I talk about the rear camera, the rear camera on Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 is of 12 megapixel plus 2 megapixel. And if I talk about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro, you're getting the backside camera of 14 megapixel plus 5 megapixel. And if I talk about the front camera, on the front camera, you're getting the both the camera same, which is of 13 megapixel. And if I talk about the battery capacity, the battery capacity is of 4000 mAh. Both the phones support quick charging and both the phones have type C charging point. Both the phones have your 3.5 amp audio jack. Both the phones have your fingerprint sensor. Both the phones are running on your Android system 9.0, which is the Pi version, which you are getting the latest Android version on your both of your phones. But on this stock Android version, you are getting the MIUI 10 version, which is your OS version from the Xiaomi. If I talk about the RAM of both the devices on Xiaomi Redmi Note 7, you're getting the 3GB variant and the 4GB variant. Whereas in Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro, you're getting the 4GB and the 16GB. If I talk about the price, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 is available at a price range of 999. And if I talk about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro, it is available at a price range of 13,999. So let's talk about that which phone you should buy and which phone you should leave. If I have to personally buy and if I have a budget of around 10 to 12,000, then I should not go for the Redmi Note 7. I will go for the Redmi Note 7 Pro because at that price, I'm getting a better processor and all of the specifications are almost the same. But at that price, I'm also getting a huge RAM of 4 GB and plus 64 GB because at the show me that Note 7, if I go for the 4 GB and the 64 GB, the price range is approximately around 12,999. So if I have a variant of only 1000 rupees, I should invest at least 1000 more and I will go for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro. So it's up to you now that which phone you should to buy. But for my personal opinion, I tell you that you should go for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro. Forget about the band test because if a phone has been pushed too hard into a particular thing, the phone will bend and the phone will not remain the same. The phone doesn't have to be Banded all the time. It is a particular thing only that it should be a bandy like if I've kept in a pocket that it be bending a little bit only not like a folding phone. So I hope you have all your doubts clear right now. If you have more questions or more doubts, do comment below and I will answer it personally. So if you like this video, give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for such interesting video. And I see you in the next one.